be. All right, and trying to maintain control as best as possible. 1960 for 14, 500 feet. A little bit below the glide slope on the localizer. Circling runway 36. All right, here we go. Back, back on the glide slope. So on the localizer, 1800 for 1460. Okay. We have rudder control problems. I'm not going to throw the flaps just yet. One less thing to worry about. I'm below the glide slope. Need to kind of 1600 for 1460. There we go. Back on the glide slope. 1640 to 4200 feet. Minimums. Air control or Sorry? minimums. Hood off. Yep. Minimums. Hood off. Okay. Okay. Minimums. Down with that. All right. I wanted to just do that right there as a start. Go I want to introduce something like that to you. So there you go. All right. Go All right. ahead and report circling. Box your tower to go to two one seven eight Zulu. Uh, left circle to land runway three six. Two one seven eight Zulu runway three six. Clear to land. Clear to land three six two one seven eight Zulu. Runways in sight. Saying that about one point three miles. At this altitude, there's a runway, and let's see, we got a tailwind, so I won't want to go extremely far, because we'll get pushed. 1460. RP off. Up forward. Curve. Ah. the runway. We're going to go with two sets, two notches of flap dues to the wind. Ah, man. Engine failure here. Engine failure here, you meet the runway. Think pull so? your engine, pull your, pull your part all the way out right now. Right now? Yes, pull it all the way out. Head for best glide. What's best glide speed? Five. Where we're at. There. Get to the runway. Go right to that runway. That's why when you circle, you always be in a position to the runway. Good to know. I didn't think we could make this runway like this. Oh no. We won't. We'll make the airport. Alright, go ahead and power. Good lesson though. Yeah. And land. To the next one. Yep, yep, yep. Read. Wow. Excellent. All things. <laughs> that got that got me off guard.